morning. Um, I am uh, here in support of this initiative and, and advocating on a state level for specifically more uh, funding for the um, Gun Violence Task Force. Two months ago, we started the Peace Not Guns Task Force in City Council, and so we're going to be working in conjunction with State Senator Anthony Williams on the state level, and we're going to be working in conjunction with District Attorney Seth Williams on the city level to make sure that the Gun Violence Task Force in the City of Philadelphia is a priority. When we were discussing um, the issue of youth violence during our Peace Not Guns on roundtable meeting with our community members, some who are here today, one of the key things that came up in our conversation is um, often we, ask, we go after the shooter, and I think we need to put a high priority on going after the shooter. And I support Seth Williams when he talks about making a high bail of a mandatory minimum when you talk about addressing the issue of youth gun violence because it sends a signal that clearly if you have a gun, you're going to jail. And I think all too often when you have young men riding around with AK-47s on four-wheelers, they think that this is a joke. And so when you have a mandatory minimum when it comes to having a gun, it sends a clear signal that carrying guns and shooting up our streets will not be tolerated. But my particular interest in the Gun Violence Task Force is actually going after those who purchase these guns. All these guns came from some store. All these guns came from some store. And so for me, when you look at the issue of going after straw purchasers and Operation Ceasefire focusing on House Bill 1523, which provides the city of Philadelphia to actually go after those who actually sell guns, I think we need to make sure that that's a priority. And the funding that goes to the gun tax force can also take a look at how do we go after those who get these guns into the community because somehow um, shouldn't be a, we should never see somebody 14, 15, 16 years old with this type of hard artillery. And so I'm just here to pledge my support um, as a councilman and look forward to working with everyone that's here. And thanks to the Williams for allowing me to be a part of this press conference.